Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to our brand new FIFA 21 video. This is Leo here bringing you another special player review, another Tuesday, another team of the season type item released and you see him on the left of the screen and his name is Lucas Digne. Yes guys, we're going to be taking a look at this incredible card and I'm so excited man. I want to thank King Alushi Sky Give me 102 for letting me use his account once again and uh, being able to complete this Luca Digne card guys we're gonna be testing him out today and seeing if he's the best left back in the BPL honestly for the BPL I think Robertson is gonna take it and then I don't know who else is gonna be thrown out there so this is actually a viable really good option if you are thinking of uh, you know in game left back and we're gonna be testing that out I know a lot of people are gonna be playing them at center back and we're definitely gonna be doing then that review as well one game left back one game center back and definitely gonna see his performance and what you need in order to get this card is you need one French player one team of the week 184 rated squad and a 75 chemistry and the next one is a little bit expensive but you do get one uh, you do get a premier gold player pack and what you need is a premier league player one team of the week 186 rated and a 70 rated chemistry squad and he already completed that one i don't know what i'm doing guys sorry i just woke up and there we go look what he is submitting into the squad he said he isn't he hates bieri and he does not like ben Yedder. so we are giving him up right now and there we go guys luca digne has joined foot leo fc and we're gonna see how good this card is man his dynamic picture is crazy i really like it the design look at that beautiful design as well with the little lightning and there you go, Lucas Igne sliding into the club, and 90 rated left back. And yes, guys, I know he was part of the team assistant community, but I'm glad Tagafico won. But right now, it is time for Lucas Igne to show what this card has. He is 5'10", high, medium, through left footed, three star skill moves, two star weak foot. He's just like Tagliafico. I believe Tagliafico is two star, three star, if I'm not mistaken. But onto the attribute details, he does have 90 pace, 90 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. I'm actually thinking whether to put an anchor or a shadow, probably an anchor to be honest, and just testing him out on the defensive end. He has decent shooting at 90 shot power and 83 long shots, but we're going to be testing out more of his defensive abilities today. Onto the passing of 85, 79 vision, 92 crossing, 88 free kick accuracy, and really good passing at 86 short passing and 78 long passing. Onto the dribbling of 85, 74 agility, 84 balance. I mean, it's all right, guys. The agility worries me just a little bit, but um, at the center right position, you will not feel that. At left back, you might, you might not. We shall see tonight. On to the reactions of 89, 86 composure as well. So that makes him a clutch card. He should react to defensive plays on the pitch. On to the defending of 88, 90 interceptions, 86 defensive awareness, 91 standing tackle, and 92 sliding tackle the french wall has arrived guys and this guy is gonna be something to deal with and on to the physical of 87 97 stamina should last you the whole game 80 strength and 88 aggression close out luca dines team of the season moments and lastly the player traits long throwing dives into tackle and long shot taker guys i'm so excited to try out luca digne is he worth it is he not that's a big question we're gonna be answering next Alright guys, first touch for Lucas in the team of the season moments and let's see how fast he is. I did apply an anchor chemistry style. Feels fast. Look at that. It's getting away. Too bad nobody is there. Good dribbling. Feels really fast, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Side to side movement. You do feel a little bit of that agility, but that doesn't matter. Great pass to Burwine. Let's go. Ah, we almost get the assist. I was trying to make him do a spin move, but I don't know what FIFA's thinking today. Look, look at that. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Ah, yeah, yeah. But I like the dribbling so far. The ability to escape the defender right there on the pressure. I love it. I love to see that from my left backs. I'm sorry if you've seen a little bit of a delay on the screen. I am using a, another computer at the moment. Mine's getting fixed. Just wanted to throw that out there. All right, come on, look at it. Let's go. Against Pogba. Great interception right there. Great reactions. I know the ball went out of bounds, but I'll take it, guys. Let's 
Come on, Digne. Against Kunawero. Against Pogba. French versus French. What a... Oh, my goodness. What a standing tackle right there on Pogba. Putting him on the ground. And what a way to end the first half. He's playing center back the rest of the game. My opponent is not attacking on his side. So, I was like, whatever. Let's just play him at center back. All right. Come on, Luca Digne. Look at that speed, man. That's end of an era, Aguero. Beautiful. Definitely feel that burst of speed right there. The pace and the great jumping as well. Let's see if we can get a goal in. Vamos, Cunagüero Cavani. La tiene Cavani. Se la pasa para el argentino. Let's go. Cunagüero. Long shot. Cunagüero. Goal, 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 golazo. Wow, guys. What a sequence right there. And we are up 2-1. And our end of an era, Aguero, is just fantastic. Guys, go do them. Go check out my review. And you're going to see the force that this card is. Vamos, Luca Digne. Covering the passes right there. Covering the passes. I'm not switching until we get the ball back with Luca Digne. I told you guys, I told you I was not going to switch. And now we're going to go forward. That's Fabinho, he's not going to catch up to us. Let's go. Beautiful pass, man. Ah, I know. Yeah. Alright, come on, Luca Digne. On a counter. Feels really good, guys. That's the AI right there. I didn't even press circle. Vamos. Get the ball back, please. What a great sliding tackle right there. Ah, I don't know what Bailerin is doing, but that sliding tackle is elite, man. Gets that it. Our body Kuna Wetter right there. Great, it's a great standing tackle. And again, Bellerin, what is he doing? And again, Digne. You got to bail him out. All right. Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, my goodness. FIFA cheese. There we go with the AI blocking. Can we just please get the ball out? Thank you, man. It had to be mount. So, guys, I'm going to cut the review short. My temporary laptop is heating up a little bit. So, if I play another game, it's probably going to die. So, I'm just going to cut it here short. No ending thought section on the review today. I really apologize, but I'm going to give you my quick thoughts on this card. Go do this card. He is the best left back in the Barclays Premier League. I like him more than Team of the Season Robertson. I'm telling you that right now. Team of the Year Robertson. Excuse me about that. The only thing that do suck on this card is a three-star skill moves, two-star weak foot combination. But aside from that, this is a perfect card. And I know a lot of people are going to be playing him at center back. And I advise you to do that. Yes, you can play left back. So you can put him in that left back role. Connect Mbappe to a BPL player if you have the Mbappe player of the month. That is perfectly acceptable. Put an anchor. You'll be good to go for the rest of FIFA 21. And I do advise you to play him at center back as well if you do need a left back to center back conversion he's one of the better options in my opinion because he has the pace he has the dribbling he has the defending the physical that you need in order for him to be a fantastic center back so those are my top two recommendations today meta rating on this car is probably going to be an 8.5 out of 10 really meta player but he is lacking the agility just a little bit and then the final rating will be a 9 out of 10 i would give this card a 9 out of 10 because he is a shutdown defender and i wish i could have played another game but you already know what's going on my my real computer is getting fixed at the moment so that's why if you see some choppy gameplay i really do apologize for that but just hopefully you enjoyed this review and it helped you out in deciding whether you want to get this card or not and before I let you go guys, I just want to say thank you so much for your support on Instagram and YouTube lately. I have been killing it with the support and I love seeing that guys. Please take a second out of your day, like this video, subscribe to the channel and expect some type of review tomorrow. Whatever they release, I will be back. This is Leo. I bid you goodbye and good night.